to my short video on how to grow a pine tree from a pine cone. It's actually quite a science. Uh, nature tends to take care of it by uh, herself, but uh, I found a way to do it that seems to make sense. First of all, uh, when you're out running or just jogging or just walking or out in the open, uh, pick up some pine cones. Surprisingly, it's better to get the pine cones that are closed up because once they open up like this, the seeds have already been dispersed. And so you won't be able to plant anything. Uh, there's no seeds in them. They're nice decorations or whatever, but uh, basically it's good to get uh, a fairly closed pine cone. And I'll show you in a minute how to get the seeds out. I also start them uh, with these pans that you get from your local grocery store to cook meatloaf in. you got to poke some holes in the bottom. I actually uh, have some mulch here that I put as a first layer and then regular planting soil as a second layer. And I just put the seeds in only about a quarter of an inch down. And then I put them in the sun during the day, water them every other day. You don't have to like soak it. Uh, hopefully you'll have enough room beneath your pan so that the water will drain out. Uh, but basically, uh, you don't want to get a bunch of water building up in your planter because it will rot the roots. <clears throat> and so, my first go around with this was educational. I went to YouTube and I found that there are people that have two different opinions. One is to plant the entire pine cone and it'll eventually open up like nature. And uh, your pine tree will start to grow at some magic point. Well, <clears throat> I tried that theory. Uh, simultaneously with planting these and I found that so far I haven't gotten any of uh, the pine cones themselves to start a sprout so it's been kind of frustrating but I did have a total of 18 pine trees that uh, sprouted using this methodology and I planted them in the backyard with a small little wire fence around them it's only like about you know, six inches wide, but it keeps pests and rodents from eating uh, your pine tree. It's only about this tall and uh, it has a, a root about twice that long. So uh, once you get about an inch or an inch and a half of growth, go ahead and replant them to your backyard. So what happens is, is uh, when you pick up a pine cone, uh, typically it's getting ready to shed its seeds. And so you have to mimic what nature is doing. So I mimicked it by putting uh, this box and these pine cones in the refrigerator. I put some in the freezer just to try that out because it's like we're in a climate that doesn't get below freezing, but I think uh, it used to in the old days. Uh, I live in Seattle and so uh, Green Lake used to be frozen and now it no longer freezes in the winter, but I think evolution has helped pine, tro pine cones to realize that once the freezing is over, it should let go of its seeds and then it's ready to, you know, perpetuate itself. Basically, I usually put maybe six to 10 seeds. Um, most of them actually sprout, so it's pretty interesting. Space them out about an inch or two, maybe two inches. If you have a lot of them like I do, I've got almost a dozen different containers that I use. Uh, all of them have holes in the bottom. Very important to drain the water. And then the key technique in getting uh, seeds out of a pine cone is once they've been frozen sometimes they kind of open up a little bit and let me grab one from the refrigerator here <coughs> so as you can see this one is starting to open up and so the freezing has triggered it to think oh this is winter and so all you have to do is just pound it like this ruin your wife's dining room table I'm sure she's listening in the other room. Anyway, all these little things here are seeds. And so there you've got enough for at least one container, maybe two. And just plant them, you know, half an inch below the surface, water it, and all of a sudden, you know, you'll get pine trees sprouting. So what I did when I went out for my runs uh, down uh, the Burt Gilman Trail here in Seattle is I found trees that were really huge, like 200 years old, and it was like, oh my God, 300 feet tall. I found those pine cones and tried to find those that had 
recently fallen off uh, the evergreen tree because those are the ones that haven't opened yet. And so as they open, where they give you just many, many seeds, uh, like I said, I'm down now. I planted 18 uh, that actually sprouted from my last go around and 17 have survived so far. We'll see what happens. Uh, but as they say, stuff happens uh, with nature and with animals and all that. So you have to be kind of careful. But all I did is I went to Home Depot and got this uh, fencing material that is fairly small. I don't have it in front of me here, but uh, basically cut it with a wire clipper. Uh, it's about 12 inches tall and round, as I mentioned, and that kind of protects the, the tree um, from any damage. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, my next video will be uh, me standing next to a 200 foot pine tree that I planted 40 years after this. Now, um, I don't know when it's going to happen, but uh, I'll give an update as things progress. And of course, there could be climate change and different things happening with the weather here in Seattle that we don't know. Flooding. Um, I did lose one plant, and I think it was due to flooding, actually. I just kind of over soaked one, and it's like, uh oh, killed the pine tree. Anyway, Joe Deal here from Seattle, Washington. I hope you have fun planting trees, and keep in mind that uh, the trees produce oxygen for us to breathe and, it, and they, it takes in carbon uh, dioxide. So it's like we're partners with the trees. Have fun. Good luck.